Hi everyone, it's Marissa from BumblebeeApothecary.com and today I'm bringing you along during the evening, afternoon, late afternoon, evening time while I'm getting some dinner made, dealing with a giant mountain of laundry and just going through a very much raw, realistic, real life day. So please let me know in the comments if any of you can relate to a day like this. So today, the dinner prep part of the day is actually starting in the afternoon, earlier afternoon time. We have a bunch of these older laying hens in our freezer there, something that we definitely need to kind of use up sooner rather than later. They're not great to eat for sure, but they are nice for making broth. So I'm going to just start that now in the afternoon so that by the time dinner time rolls around I'm gonna be ready to make some soup with this so I'll have some nice fresh chicken broth to use so I'm just starting that just the basic chicken meat stock slash meat broth chicken broth recipe where I put a whole chicken in there I have the head the feet in there also and then I am just cooking that up so I add filtered water to cover everything some mineral salt, pepper, some pieces of celery, some onion, some garlic for flavor, and then just let that go. A longer cook time usually works better, I find, for these older, tougher chickens, so I'm gonna plan on this going for three hours. Here it is when it's actually come to a pretty strong boil. Check for any scum that needs to be skimmed off the top, and then I'm going to lower that temperature down and start that three hour simmering time. So lately I've been feeling in sort of a, a dinner rut, sort of, you know, how you get to those stages where you're just kind of tired of the same old things for whatever reason, and you're just kind of looking for some new ideas. So I uh, found a recipe for hamburger soup that I thought sounded good. It's something, I haven't made anything like that for quite a long time, so I thought that'll be nice to do. It'll make a lot of food, so we'll have lunches, food for lunches the next day. Um, and then it actually ended up being enough for a whole entire second dinner as well, which I always love when that happens because then you have a whole entire dinner already ready to go that you can stick in the freezer or you can just pull out another day soon, whatever works. Love when that happens. So that ended up working out really nicely. But finding that recipe was really nice because it fulfilled that need for just something kind of different and, you know, out of the ordinary from what I had been making a lot of. Also, we're in kind of an odd time with figuring out what to make for dinner because typically I'll have a whole beef out there that we're working through and then for part of the year we'll have lamb and pork that we'll also be able to use. Chicken we have a little bit less frequently just because we raise those ourselves. They're pretty labor intensive and we haven't had the opportunity for a little while to raise another batch and so we're kind of conserving those. But anyway, we're in a little bit of a different time because we're out of our whole beef. We're getting some more in about a month or three weeks or so. We have some more lamb coming in a few, a couple weeks. But at this particular point, I don't have any of those. So I have some packages of organic grass-fed ground beef from the store that we can use. And that's and then these old laying hens and that's kind of it. So I guess it's it's not even so much for lack of ideas. I'm not used to um, thinking up my meals and planning out what we're gonna have for dinner each day with just ground beef and chickens out there. It's just different and challenging because I'm used to having a whole animal out there to choose from and all different kinds of cuts to work through and it's really easy to have variety and keep things interesting and mixed up when you have that. So I guess that's one of the things I'm struggling with right now is that it's just different. I'm not used to like, okay, what do we do with ground beef today? <laughs> and I we got these stewing hens we need to use up and that's kind of it. Oh, and a lot of eggs too. So we've been working in some, some dinners that use a lot of eggs as well here and there. So it's just kind of different. It's just kind of typical, kind of <laughs> untypical rather. And 
it, I don't know. It's just I'm not having the easiest time always coming up with what in the world to make for dinner every day with these what feel like abnormal circumstances, which I don't want to sound ungrateful. There's <laughs> plenty and everything is fine. It's just a little bit different as we're waiting for our... We're like in between. We used up our whole animals and we're, we're waiting for our whole beef and some lamb to come and later on we'll get more pork and so it's yeah it's just kind of different so let me know if you can relate to that and what you do when you are in those in-between times and meal planning just becomes a little different if you know what I mean and then also today I know that I do try to have more beautiful type content and have hopefully a you know, more pleasing background, which has definitely been made easier after we've updated our kitchen. Those of you who have been with me for a while will remember what it looked like before. It was just very old and outdated and dark, and the cabinets had definitely seen better days, but it was just dark brown and olive green. and It just did not make for a very nice backdrop, so I'm, I never a day goes by that I'm not thankful and appreciate a, an updated kitchen and so that makes it much easier to have very nice looking videos. Those of you who were with me a while back will remember when I filmed all of my cooking videos out in the living room because I needed better light and I needed a light bright background not dark brown and olive green. <laughs> but anyway, we're stepping aside from the beautiful background to show just a little clip of some real life and there is a lot of things that need to be put away and dishes that need to be dealt with and laundry. The mountain of laundry is here and it needs to be dealt with. And that's another thing that I have going on today. So yes, I'm bringing you along on this day when I am sort of, I was struggling through what to make for dinner, but I got some ideas and, and got it together. And then there's laundry, lots of laundry and Laundry is just one of those things that it's always there, it seems like. I try to have a really nice routine where Monday I try to get as much washing and drying, and if I can, putting away, all done on Monday. That's always what I strive for, and it just depends on the week and what else I have going on. Sometimes I am able to get it all done in one day, but lately that has not been happening, and it stretches out over a few days, and it's just one of those things that I'm just trying to get done. So let me know how are you doing with laundry currently? Do you have a system that works for you? Are you struggling with it? Do you feel like you've got it under control? Share any tips that you have with me. I'd love to hear where you're at with all of that. And if you are happy with your system and just how that's worked. So let me know in the comments. And then I... I need to kind of just clean up from when I was starting the chicken broth earlier, so I'm just gonna deal with that. Clean aside these kitchen scraps so that they can go to the chickens. Clear myself some room here so that I can start on making dinner. So the recipe that I'm following has you first brown the ground beef in the pan with some onions and some garlic. So have that going and then I'm also adding the vegetables as well with it so there's some celery that goes in there as well I'm just adding that as the ground beef cooks and then I'm going to add some more of the ingredients so there's some parsley some whole stewed tomatoes I'm adding some tomato paste and some oregano and then I'm also going to just add the chicken broth so I'm actually just straining it straight from the the pot where it was made and then I'll also store the rest of that and have that on hand for some other recipes too but I'm just ladling that out and just straining it straight into the pot just kind of enough to cover the ground beef well with a little to spare and then I have these frozen diced organic potatoes that I got from Azure it's like a big box of them and I've actually found these very very handy because on days like this where you just we're sort of lacking in motivation. It's really nice to have something that's already peeled and cut up and you can just toss in. So I have been liking to use those every now and then. And then also some other vegetables. So these this frozen mix of organic peas, corn, green beans, and carrots diced. So adding that. You could really add whatever, whatever vegetables you want to the soup. 
but we do like these mixed vegetables, so I decided to go ahead and go with those. Then I'm adding the seasonings here, so um, I'm doing the parsley and the oregano at this point, and just stirring that in. And then as soon as all those vegetables are cooked, it is really ready to serve. And this was a hit. Everybody did really like it and eat it right up. My youngest, who just turned two, he wasn't super eager about eating it all. Um, he did love the, the broth, so he drank that out with a straw and ate some of the meat and I think a little of the vegetables too. But he didn't like consume the entire bowl or anything. But he's not always the biggest eater at dinner. I think he's still kind of full from a lot of the meals earlier in the day when it comes to dinner time. So that's typical for him to not finish his entire meal at dinner time. But everybody else certainly did and we, we really liked it. I would definitely make that again. And then after dinner, when things are cleaned up in the kitchen and the kids are in bed, I have a big job ahead of me here. So I didn't show it, but during the afternoon today, I actually sorted all of this laundry out. And then, so I had it in all of the piles to where it needed to go to different people. And then my youngest, like I said, he just turned two, came and I think it was while we were finishing dinner, he was done eating and so he was out of his seat and he was just running around. Usually he just plays, but today <laughs> he went into the living room and he undid all of my sorting. He mixed it, almost all of it up and pretty much undid all of my work. You know, he doesn't know any better. Not mad at him or anything. It's just like, okay, I was already kind of feeling overwhelmed with the laundry. I thought I had gotten some of it done and I was gonna finish some after dinner, but instead I get to redo all the work that I had previously done. So that's my activity for this evening. Sit down sort all the laundry out for a second time. And then I decided that was enough for today. I told myself to keep a closer eye on what my two-year-old was doing tomorrow morning and try to keep him busy with something else so that he leaves the laundry alone. And then as soon as I can tomorrow, I will get to it and put it away. But for right now, I'm just gonna sort it all out into piles and then leave it and call it a night because it's been a long day, got through a lot of things, figured out what to do for dinner, made that happen, got the laundry sorted twice, and, <laughs> and then I'm just kind of done. So that was my evening. That was my afternoon and evening. Thank you for coming along with me. Let me know if you can relate to any of these things that I shared about like being in kind of a weird time with meal planning, whether that's because you're in between getting your meat from farms or whatever the reason. There's a lot of reasons why that can happen. And your thoughts about laundry. Where are you at? Are you on top of it? Have you found tricks and systems that work really well? Or do you just kind of do the best you can? And it, you don't love it, but you do it and you hope for the best. <laughs> so let me know what you think about all those things. Thank you again so much for coming along and spending this afternoon and evening with me as I worked on these things. Be sure and check out that description box. I have links to free ebooks and other goodies, different things that I've made to help you guys out. And if you did like this video, give it a thumbs up, share it with anybody else that you think would find it interesting. And if you're new to my channel, please hit that subscribe button. I get out new videos every week on nourishing recipes and natural living. Thanks so much for watching. See you next time. Bye.